In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix FPS drops after Fortnite Chapter 7's update. It's a very simple method, so if you find this video helpful, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. Now, it can be really annoying whenever you're playing Fortnite and you're just getting a bunch of FPS drops. That can be really annoying to your game, and especially if you're playing anything like Cups or, you know, you're playing competitively, you're trying to win, and all of a sudden, yeah, you're just like messing up because of those FPS drops. So it's a really easy fix, whether you're on console or PC, I'll be taking you through. As you can see, my ping is on one or zero, which is literally nothing. And my FPS is more than you really need on Fortnite. It's like 600 FPS. That's because I've optimized everything for the best performance to reduce lag and any stuttering. So what I want to go ahead and do is go to my settings like so. Make sure your winded mode is on full screen. I only have it on winded full screen because I'm recording. Never have VSync on. Put your frame rate limit on what you have like your monitor's refresh rate at. So I normally play on 360 FPS. I'm just doing unlimited for the recording. Scroll down, have the brightness on 150% because it makes the game look better and more clear and have colorblind mode off because that does introduce any input delay. And basically all you want to do is on console, you want to have your FPS at 120. And if you're on PC, obviously cap it to your monitor's refresh rate. And then all of these settings where it says view distance, textures, post-processing, anything like that affects Put them on low that should definitely help and also have meshes on low as well i definitely recommend playing on performance mode compared to dx 11 or 12. you definitely shouldn't be playing on direct x 11. direct x 12 is okay it's a bit more advanced but you want to turn those settings down as well and also if you might feel like you're on performance mode and you're still getting bad fps switch to direct x 12 mode restart your game and then come back to the settings like so, then put all the different settings to low, like effects and all of that stuff, and then switch back to performance mode. This is because when you're on performance mode, if you have things like that are like turned on from DirectX 12, they're still gonna be open in the background in a sense. So you wanna turn down those graphic settings over there as well. So again, play on performance mode. Now for console and PC, what you wanna do in the audio tab is scroll down and go to sound quality and 3D headphones. Turn sound quality low and 3D headphones off. Then go to the fourth tab, which is game. Scroll all the way down where it says replays. Record replays, turn that off completely. All of these should be off. And then energy saving, put it to never. And then any both of these settings, turn them off as well. Another common mistake people make is their matchmaking region. It might be set to auto, but sometimes it bugs out and it goes to the wrong one. So what you want to do is manually select the region that you're meant to be playing on. The lowest MS is what you want. That's your ping. So mine is five MS, which is good on Europe. So that's what I want to set it to manually. So to ensure that I, you know, that it's proper and everything. So yeah, I just realized I was invisible for a second, which was very interesting. But yeah, that's exactly what you want to do. It's as simple as that. Another thing I want you to do is go out of the game completely. So I'm just going to close out of it. And this is specifically, of course, if you're on PC. And once you're on your desktop, right click, go to show more options and then go to your NVIDIA control panel and wait for that to open up. It's going to look something like this. Go to adjust image settings with preview. Go to use my preference emphasizing, switch it to performance and then go back to use advanced 3D image settings and then press apply. Then go to manage 3D settings and you want your settings to be exactly like this. So I'm just going to scroll through the different settings and you can pause it if you want to. But your OpenGL rendering GPU should be the exact graphics card you have. Power management mode should be on preferred maximum performance. And your shader cache size should be 10 gigabytes. And your texture filtering quality should be high performance. And I think those are the main settings. Then go to change resolution. Keep it at 1920 by 1080 and put the refresh rate to what you get in game stably now i can reach 500 fps and i can reach more than that as you saw i was on 600 700 and sometimes 800 but it does fluctuate so i want to keep it more stable so 360 hertz for me is where i want to be now if i scroll down i'm going to see digital vibrance this doesn't affect performance as such but it does make your game look more clear and it helps you see enemies clearly as well so turn your digital vibrance up to 75 percent if you don't like it you can turn it back to 50 percent but this is what i like to do and where it says set up G-Sync, don't ever enable G-Sync. It's just terrible for input delay. So you don't want that. But yeah, it's as simple as that. Now, if you found this video helpful, drop a like and subscribe.